guys, Luke Bells here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review for a movie that I've watched yesterday, um, and it's called Maximum Ride, uh, a film that came out in 2016, and it's a very low-budget film, and it's filled with no-named actors, and it's directed by no-name director. Um, I believe he's directed a Oh, or produced a few other films before um, and that's just about it six children genetically crossbred with avian DNA complete with wings take flight around the country to discover their origins now before I get into this review I want to let uh, I want to explain to you guys uh, before you get in the comment section saying Logan uh, you're reviewing a film that came out a couple years ago why are you review reviewing it uh, right now in this a year of 2018 because I'm doing it in a collaboration with someone which I will reveal at the end of this review but uh, anyway I, I watched Maximum Right for the first time last night and I gotta say oh my lord this film was so incredibly awful I could th there I I was almost speechless when after watched after I was through watching that movie, I swear to you, everything about Maximum Ride failed epically. Uh, uh, this film failed at almost uh, uh, probably every level that it tried to do. Um, the concept you could say is interesting, uh, to to say the least, but it's not really executed so well. The execution was so terrible. But that is not the only terrible thing about Maximum Ride. The characters. <sighs> oh my god. The characters in this movie are so atrocious. You never cared for every single uh, character in this entire film. Every single one of them uh, just felt like uh, the kind of characters that you would see in a very bad, uh, all, uh, god-awful booked movie adaptation much like Twilight films uh, which is very bad sign this film all to me felt like a mixture of Twilight and the Maze Runner that's what it felt like to me and that's uh, that's also not a very good sign <laughs> to say the least this film was so terrible the story well with, with the uh, with the six children uh, one uh, led by Max uh, the girl the main lead the main female lead in this film, she was not very good. Uh, she's very forgettable. She's very bland. She's very dull, and you know, you never cared for her. And, and the things that she does in this film really ve uh, became so questionable to where uh, you you ask yourself, is that really a wise thing to do as a leader of this group, uh, a group of genetically enhanced children uh, that have wings? Which, by the way. By the way, let's talk about the uh, the wings, or at least the CGI effects on the wings. I'm I gotta tell you, the CGI. There was a scene where Max was like flying towards to get uh uh this little little girl named Angel, um, and she was like, uh, you know, there was one shot where you see her like trying to use her foot uh, against uh, one of the. Uh, erasers that is kept that is capturing Angel and she was all like like <laughs> that scene was I I could I can I cannot believe that that scene was actually put in a movie uh, but my god it did and after seeing that scene I laughed my ass off it was hilarious but back to the CGI it looks horrendously bad uh, the, and uh, from what I understand, this movie is very low budget, so you would expect a low budget film to have at least a decent looking CGI, or uh, some pretty good looking CGI sometimes. In the case of Maximum Ride, you don't get that. The CGI, wow. I, I couldn't believe, I, I rarely seen a low budget film that, that has a CGI that looked this bad, this bad. But yeah, the the story went so all over the place with with so many story uh, with, uh, with so much story turns th there and there. 
uh, like going from one story to another story to another story, and it's just... It was so very repetitive with the way that it was trying to change up the story. And also, uh, the uh, the love relationship with Max and uh, the one dude who's kind of the ma main male lead in this film, uh, uh, th this film tries to shove that love relationship between the two uh, down your freaking throats. And it just, it, it just, my god. So yeah, the CGI looked horrendously bad, and, and the characters very ter very terribly written, uh, the story all over the place, and, and a predictable plot twist that you've seen coming from a mile away. Those are really the issues that I have with this film, but there's one issue in particular I have with this film that made uh, one thing happen at the end of the film that really made my jaw drop. The ending makes absolutely zero sense zero sense whatsoever after max was like knocked out for some inexplicable reason we then get a montage of everything that is happening in the uh, that has happened previously in this entire film just everything that happened in this film uh, basically and all of a sudden she just wakes up uh it was kind of used as a way to find to find a clue that is kind of linked to Max somehow, uh, and it just it, it it just makes no sense whatsoever. I gotta tell you, it was so hard for me to get through this film uh, every time I watched it. Uh, it was so boring, I, and this film came out the same year that Arrival, my least favorite film of 2016, uh, came out, uh, and guys. I can't believe on what I'm about to say, but this film eclipses Arrival as being my least favorite film of 2016. I can't believe those words came out of my mouth. And do you want to know why? Arrival was a big, boring mess. I will uh, say that, and I will continue to say it. But at least, at least, it had very good CGI. At least it had an interest, more interesting concept, and it has a character or two that you actually kind of cared for. Those are like the only things that I can say positively about Arrival when comparing to this piece of shit. It's that bad. A Maximum Ride uh, is such a terrible film uh, that should not have existed, and it, it went under everybody's radar i would say uh back when it was released in 2016 so and you know i just couldn't believe what i just watched this film was so horrendously awful and i do not recommend watching it i am going to give maximum ride no medal of honor so anyway guys that is my review for um maximum ride uh, before I let you guys go, I want to give a shout out to Kinsey from the YouTube channel KinseyB459. She has provided you with the second half of this collaboration with her own review of the book, not the movie, of uh, Maximum Ride. So you can go check out her review by pressing right up here, or you can go down in the description below, and there's a link down there for you. Uh, so, and, and be sure to subscribe to her channel while you're there. And you can also check out my review for Jurassic World, uh, which I already uploaded as soon as I uploaded this one as well. So you can uh, check that one as well right up here. So anyway, guys, that is about it for now. If you guys enjoy my review, please click the like button and comment down below if you have already watched this movie and let me know what you think of it. If you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.